setup is legit. I don't know how he even comes to the gym, to be honest. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you didn't you didn't make it. You, di you didn't make it. Where are you going to Okay, folks. Joe and I are going to hit uh, this is, it's actually Monday, but we're going to do Tuesday's at home workout. Um, Joe's going to write it here on his handy dandy little chalkboard here. Um, but I do appreciate Joe letting me come over. Uh, just like, you know, all the other stuff, um, we're still going to maintain a six foot distance from each other. I'm actually going to do all my stuff out here. Joe will probably be here. It does have a 400 meter run in it, so we'll do our best to keep six foot distance while we're running. Um, but yeah, it's sun's nice and bright, so we're going to get a good little sweat in and get a little workout. All right, Joe's going to write down our workout for today. So the home workout is, for time, a 400-meter run, 40 air squat. Joe, your handwriting is so nice. 30 sit-ups, 20 push-ups, and 10 ground to overhead with backpacks. Just put BP. All right, so that's the home workout. I think that's a great workout. Uh, if, you're, if you're getting into fitness, this is great. Joe and I have been fitnessing for a while, so we're going to just do a quick modification to it. We're going to make this a two-round workout, okay? And then we're going to add that 10 ground to overhead in between every movement. So we'll actually do two rounds, 400-meter run, 10 ground to overhead, 40 air squats, 10 ground to overhead, 30 sit-ups, 10 ground to overhead, 20 push-ups, 10 ground to overhead, and we'll do that twice. So at the end, this is what our workout looks like. Again, it's nice and sunny. Boom. All the exposure there. Uh, nice and sunny. We're going to get a good sweat in. We're going to start hitting a little warm-up right now. Just show me where... Do you know where like 200 meters? 200, I would say... I mean, if I had to guess, I bet it was, would be down to that stop sign yeah, back. Yeah, that stop sign back. Because twice. I... Stop sign, we go all the way to the drainage. Okay. Turn around back. Yeah. That'll be cool. All right, Joe and I just hit this warm up. We're uh, well. You'll see the warm up in the in the thing. Uh, we, this is our workout. We decided to uh, take it even one more step further, and we're gonna add a vest. Both of us will wear a vest the whole time, just to you know suffer more. I guess it's a classic CrossFit movement uh, or move there. So one thing. Since I have Joe, we're going to touch on some of the, the coaching points like that I would coach in class, right? So we'll start with the air squats and we'll work our way down to the ground overhead with the plate. Okay. So I'm going to have Joe demo. So Joe's going to demo an air squat here, butt's going to go back, knees go out. Good. He's reaching depth, meaning that he's dropping his butt lower than his knees, and then he stands back up. Right? If you watch Joe and the way his knees trap, go ahead one more for me, Joe. His knees are going out. I know the exposure is really high here right now, but his knees are going out towards his toes right so that's important to make sure that his knees maintain health through the whole thing right and then joe's depth is good right if you can't make it to that depth for whatever reason just get as low as you can maybe get a target or something to squat to that way you know that you're making it there all right so sit-ups are just your classic sit-ups in crossfit we usually do this butterfly stance it just gives you a better range of motion so joe's going to go from laying flat all the way touch his feet lay back touch the ground behind him do it again 
right? We're gonna have vests on, but if you wanted to make this more challenging, you could always hold a dumbbell on your chest. If we need to modify, Joe's gonna put both his feet flat on the ground and bring his knees up. Yeah, and then he's gonna put his hands behind his head and then he'll go all the way back and he'll just give me a crunch. He'll come up like halfway, yeah? And then we're just gonna modify it this way. Super simple, gonna get a good ab workout in there. Nice, easy modification. Our next movement is push-ups. Joe's in a nice, solid plank. Got his weight in the palms of his hands. He'll lower down till his chest touches and press back up. Now, notice how Joe's elbows are tracking into his body. Do another one for me, Joe. He's not letting him do the classic PE push-up. Yeah, good. Uh, classic PE push-up there. Again, if this is too much, you can always put your knees on the ground and then do your push-ups with your knees there going down and up. Just whatever range of motion that you're comfortable with. Good. Thanks. All right, plate ground overhead. Joe, just... Demo one or two for me real quick. He's just taking that plate from the ground to overhead. Nice work. Okay, so in the bottom in the setup here, he's got his butt down, chest up, yep, keeping good posture. As he stands, he brings his hips forward hard and whips it around to get it overhead. Think of it almost like a kettlebell swing as he goes up and down, up and down. Good job, nice. Um, you can modify this with a bag, with a barbell, with a kettlebell anything really to take it from the ground overhead using that same motion the idea is get good posture in the bottom use your hips to drive it up i think we're ready to hit this workout Air depth. <laughs> All right, still maintaining our uh, six foot distance here. Joe, what'd you think of that workout? It was uh, worse than it looked. Very much so, yeah. Uh, Joe and I have been doing CrossFit for a while, so we thought we would up it a little bit. I think we did fine. We didn't really slow down at all. Um, so, you know, you always have that option with those home workouts. They're designed to be like 30 minute sessions that include your warm up, uh, but you always have that option uh, to up it a little bit. And if you think you need to up it, but you don't know how, let me know. Shoot, shoot me an email, text me, I'll help you. Um, I think the worst part about that was the second round whenever we went from squats to sit ups. For sure. It was like sure. my quads burned more on the sit ups yeah. than it did on the. Uh, yeah on this watch but yeah no um i thought doing the ground overhead the way we did it also was better i think 10 at the end might have been not enough you know what i mean uh so for us it worked out really well maybe if y'all try that tomorrow uh maybe try throwing that in there you don't have to use a plate i mean shoot you don't have to use anything um crazy you could just use you know just any any object that you have use it pull it overhead uh, but yeah, it's, that's a great workout. Uh, Joe, I appreciate you letting me come over here and do this. Um, again, we, uh, if you're working out with somebody, you should be following the same uh, practices that we did. You know, we stayed six feet apart the whole time, uh, made sure we stayed out of each other's sweat lanes, right, and breathing lanes, uh, the, of being in sight like that. Uh, we're still doing the social distancing until they put us on a 
on a full lockdown or a, what a shelter in place. So still able to make these house calls, stay safe while doing it. But uh, you guys get after it. Let me know how it goes.